crafters, Editor Cassie here. This is a video on how to throw the bobbin on the Quarters Choice slash Baby Lock Jazz because it's rebranded, whatever. It's a bit of a Frankenstein video just because mum has a sore back so she can't film a lot and she's filmed this video twice on decent days. But the first one she had stuff on her face and the second one there's noise halfway through so I've had to just Frankenstein the video. Also at the end there's a couple of tips that I've added on that she's told me to add because now the machine's at my place. I hope you still enjoy. Yeah, let's jump into it. Hi crafters, Lou Lavelle's here. We've had a lot of requests about the Quilter's Choice. How do I thread the bobbin? How do I thread the machine? So I thought I'd take a little bit of time and give you a run through. Come on in nice and close and I'll show you how to thread the bobbin. Remember, it's a rebadged Baby Lock from America, which is the Jazz. So if you look up Baby Lock Jazz, you'll find a lot of other tutorials. She's my baby, I love her. I don't get to sew much with my back at the moment, but that's okay. This one is a little peculiar. So you're opening up the top hatch and I found it quite daunting at the very beginning that it seemed peculiar how to wind a bobbin compared to the normal other domestic machines. So what I'm using to wind the bobbin is some rosanne. So I'm just finding where I've done my little knot as you might have seen on previous videos of how not to have them tangled. Take the spacer off, pop your thread on, pop that in and pop it down so it holds. Then you take the cotton, we have this part. It shows you here that you've got your cotton, it's going through here. So you're gonna go under that bit, which is this metal part, back around, so you're gonna hook under this hook, which is this part here. Then you're gonna come back along to hook onto here. That's the fiddly part. Oh, I've got a needle there, let's remove that. Then getting around what you're used to seeing on other machines, going around that under this tiny little hook here, which you can see there, which then comes across to the bobbin. So we have the thread. I take it by two hands and I slip it under and it's in that first position. I then come back and just by pulling it that way, it actually went into that position straight away. We go, I prefer to do it this way. And the reason is I've had it fall off so many times that if I go around there and tighten it and then around the little hook, I don't lose it. If I try and go around the little hook and then around that, it falls off. So I get the bobbin, you've got those little holes just pop your thread through the hole, put it on, slide it across, and that'll instantly put it into bobbin fill mode, and pedal down, and I'll wait till, I'll wait till I've got it on for a little bit like that, then I get my scissors, and I just cut it flush with the edge of the bobbin, it's secured now. So you can see it comes through off the reel, through that part, back down along, under the hook, around the tensioner, cross to the bobbin. As you can see, there's quite a lot of thread that went on there. So I just snip it there, push it back, and it'll come up straight away for you. These can get looser or too tight. So if you notice your threads breaking when you're winding your bobbin or just your bobbin is looking a bit sloppy, always play with how tight this is. I noticed earlier that I felt it was a bit loose. And then I like to just run my thread through a couple of times, which you might've seen me do so that it's moving smoothly and I'm not getting any catches or anything. Because if it's catching as you're just moving it with your fingers, it's definitely gonna catch when it's moving at high speed. I want to show you guys what happens when the bobbin is full. Now that little plastic guy that you'll see beside the actual bobbin is the thing that tells the bobbin when it's full. You can move it around which is why it's not a perfect circle. So you just have to undo the screw a little bit and then you can say move it to a thinner bit if you're 
bobbin isn't being filled quite the whole way or move it the other way if your bobbin's overfilling and you're getting a thread mess everywhere. And at least I don't wait for the machine to tell me till it's full, but some people do like that luxury. So I thought I would show you. See, once it started rubbing there, it stopped. And that just helps you from overfilling the bobbin. And then just give it a little chop. Move it back now so that when you're going to use your machine, you haven't forgotten and you can just take that off. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, you can find us on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter. Not really on Twitter, but a little bit on Twitter. Uh, let me know down below if there's anything else that you want to see with a quarter's choice or even my own or 40. We are going to try and film a lot more of these videos just with like little tips and tricks on what to do with the machines because we keep getting a lot of questions about them. We do know that there isn't a quarter's choice out that has the up down function for the needle, which is great because it's about the only thing I missed when I used it. And all the all the computerized stuff but like it's a it's a mechanical thing um, but yeah catch you guys next time bye